so now in here on the home screen as you know we, we will start implementing the bottom navigation so above this body we can say bottom navigation bar bottom navigation bar when the user tap on any icon button we will send the user to that specific screen for which the user tap on that specific icon that is something that we will do now for now let's just quickly implement this and then the type the type of this will be bottom navigation bar type dot fixed the background color uh, for this is black but if you want to change you can change from here okay if you want to give it any background color our ones is black so we will proceed with the black okay now when the user click on any icon button then that we have to highlight that is to which on which icon button the user click and to that specific icon which button which screen is associated so we have to highlight that specific icon so for that purpose we have a property by the name selected item color so the selected item color will be pure white and then the unselected color that is other than this selected icon on which the user tap or click other than this we have other four icons which is unselected at that time so unselected item color will be white 12 and then of course the current index will be the screen index that is as I told you we have five screens okay this is at zeroth index this is first index second index third index fourth index for each one we will add now uh, icon button or you can say the button navigation bar item that is it will have its own icon button it will have its own icon button it will have its own icon button up to here okay five icon buttons for each of them so let's say the user click on this one so on this button okay for the in order to go to this screen to go to this screen we will have the button at third index so when the user click on that at that time the screen index will be three so the user will be sent to this screen let's say the user click on the second button so the second button or you can say the first index we have this one so if the user click on the second button the user will be sent to this screen as you know that uh, in a list or you can say in programming the counting start from zero okay so zeroth index first index second index third index and fourth index let's just quickly implement it you will understand the concept okay so this is the uh, current index after the current index we want to display the items and the items you already know that we will add our bottom navigation bar item you can say the icon button for each screen so bottom navigation bar item the icon will be for the swiping screen as it is the first button so you know that at the first index we have swiping screen so this is the button for swiping so for this we will proceed with the home icon and the size of this will be 30 now other than uh, icon you can also add a label to it which you can give here okay you can just say home okay but we will leave it empty we do not need a label for it so this is for the first one which is swiping screen then for the view sent and view received screen so let us just copy paste this for the view sent and view received screen we will have this icon button and then copy paste it three times further so we have swiping screen, view sent, view received screen and you know that then we have favorite sent and favorite received so first, second and third button now 
so for the favorite sent and favorite received we have the favorite icon which is this one star okay which represent favorite so this is for the favorite then we have like so for the like we will use the heart icon so after favorite which is this one we have icons dot favorite that is the icon the heart icon okay let me just I will add um, comments to it so that you do not get confused okay this one is the last one which is of course user detail screen so it is called bottom navigation bar item but in simple words you can say button icon button or just button okay it is just for the understanding purposes so that you do not get confused this one is for like sent and like received okay like sent like received this one is for favorite one so we can say favorite sent favorite received and this one is view sent and view received and this one you already know it is the first button which is for the swiping screen so you can say swiping screen so now when the user click on this button then we know that the user wants to go to the swiping screen and it has index number 0 now if the user click on this button so it has index number 1 and we know that the user wants to go to the view sent view received screen and if the user click on this we know that the index number for this is 2 and the user wants to go to this screen and if the user click on that we know the index number 3 and the user wants to go to this screen and if the user click on this icon button then we know that the user wants to go to this screen and the index number for this is 4 so each button has its own index number we have to pass that index number here that is on which the user will tap that is using this we can recognize that okay if the user click here index number 0 the user click here index number 1 here then 2 if the user click here on this button the index number is 3 and if the user click here the index number is 4 so what we can do is on the on tap we have to get that index number first of all remove this const from it okay okay as you know that this scaffold now is not a constant scaffold widget it has bottom navigation bar with multiple icon buttons five icon buttons okay so make sure to remove the const from it so what we did now as I told you we get that index number and that index number we have to assign to our that index number we have to assign to our screen index so we will send the user to that specific screen as I already told you that is this has 0 index number, 1 index number, 2 index number, 3 index number and 4 index number and we know the screens associated with these indexes numbers so if the user click on the first icon this means that the screen index is 0 the user wants to go to swiping screen if the user click on the second button which is for example view sent and view received icon button so if the user click on the second icon button then the index number will be 1 so the user will be sent to index screen index 1 which is at the one index we have this screen and so on for the other ones okay so this is all about uh, the bottom navigation of course here on the body we have to display those screens using its index number on which the user tap okay for which the user tap on an icon button so our screen uh, our list which contain the screens information which is this one tap screen list so you can say tap screen list and simply pass the screen index to it which I already explained okay 
if the index number is let's say third if the user click on this button which is favorite send favorite received then for this the index number is two which simply means that two and then tap screen so here zero one two two is this screen so the user will be sent to favorite send favorite receive screen if the user click let's say on the this icon button so the index number for this is three so three tab screen list so inside the tab screen list three index number is for this screen so this screen we will see on the user interface similarly if the user click on the this button this icon button then the index number for this is four so four tab screen so four at the fourth index we have the screen which is user detail screen so the user will be sent to user detail screen let's just check out the app to see if it is working or not So this is our first, as you know by default the screen index is zero, that's why we visible the swiping screen first. So we have our first screen swiping screen at the zeroth index. Then at the first index, that is one index, we have view sent, view received screen. Then at the second index, we have favorite sent, favorite received screen. Then at the third index, we have like sent and like received screen. And then at the fourth index, we have the user detail screen. And the rest of the properties for a bottom navigation bar, I already told you guys, if you want to change the background color to let's say anything else, for example, let's say um, green or purple or white, whatever, you can just choose that. I mean, just specify the color here and you can see that your bottom navigation bar background color will be changed as our uh, app has a dark theme so that's why we go with the dark one so this is all about the implementation of bottom navigation bar with tab screens